Mind your face. Okay, move back, move back. Move, 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 move. I can't come in if you're there. Ha. Gabby, be, please be careful of my nose. No! <laughs> Gabby Gob, hello big boy! Yes. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> yeah! Hello, my boy. <laughs> There's Bobcat, he smelt something. And I can't even see what that is, but that's how incredibly good his sense of smell is. And he's going to roll in it. Maybe he's going to grimace. He's getting it all over his face. Glands near his whiskers, mustachial area, his chin. Okay, firstly, he's just uh, scent marking. So that's what he's going to do. He's going to go from bush to bush, tree to tree, scent mark, scent mark, rub, 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 rub. And he's going to show everyone that he's the king of the castle. And he is full of it today. Look at it. Look at Bobcat. He is really on a mission. He's going to do a lot of that today, guys. Reaching high into the branches. Marking. And some more. Um, those dark spots or dark lines on the back of his legs. So those dark lines on the back of his legs uh, represents a male that is marking a lot. Um, and so probably in his prime, he's just smelled something. You see how that, you see how that, he walked right past that smell, right past it. Now he's sniffing it out, sniffing it out. Nose, 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 nose. And voila, voila. Yeah, poo heaven, poo heaven. Bobcat is an amazing demonstrator. Um, he was walking down the road, walking down the road, and he got to about there, and <coughs> his nose caught the scent of this middens, this pile of poop. What he then did was he followed his nose and sniff, 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 and he kind of triangulated where this is and now he's going to spend a few minutes here really getting off on all the pheromones and hormones that are uh, permeating through this poo what you can also see guys is that when he's out in the bigger area and he's walking and he's trying to explore and he's not interested in kev he doesn't care what kev he'll he'll give me a head rub every now and again but it's really not about um it's really not about me um, he expects me to probably do the same. Uh, sorry for you, Bobcat. I'm not going to be rolling in any antelope poo. But yeah, they, and then as, as the walk wears off and as he starts to understand his, his territory, he then will start to slow down. He'll start to calm down and then he will pay more attention probably to me. Whew. All right, I'm getting my steps in today. That's for sure. All right, guys, I'm going to try something here with Gabby. I'm going to leave two pieces of meat strategically placed. One there in the tree and another here, there. So I have two pieces of meat and then I'm going to show her another piece of meat. And we're going to see if she can sniff out those other two pieces of meat based on... Yeah, Gabs. Yeah. There's the meat. Gabby. Yeah. Okay, so she's seen it. She's coming there. She's gone straight past it. She's sniffing. Where is it? Yeah. Did you see that? Let's see if she smells the other. Yeah.
like a sniffer dog. Gabby the sniffer dog. Mm. No, not the camera. Victory! The fact that she walked past uh, the smell and then she caught a whiff of it. All those molecules wafting in the air. And then instead of just looking at it like we would, I mean, it's sitting there, I can see it. So clear, it's red and the ground is this dry color. But hey guys, you know, I've talked about this before. And uh, again, if you would like to learn a little bit more about lion's vision stay tuned in this series because obviously this series is going to um, cover vision but i have done a, a video on hashtag ask meg about uh, vision and what lions see what kind of color the, the lions see so i'm not going to go into that now but it does involve red yeah well done gabby you're a champion what a champion okay so for lions and their sense of smell i think we've covered it pretty well um, I think you guys have got a good idea of how important the sense of smell is to a lion. Um, but this final demonstration, which I know my lovely bobcat is going to do for me, is the Flemin response. So hopefully, bobcat, hopefully, no, he's still, he's still preoccupied. See, he doesn't like me to lead. If I'm leading, he picks up his pace. You can understand how important it is for Bobcat um, to scent rub, especially with the, the cheek glands. Look at the, it's always the head and the cheek. This part here is rubbing there a lot. And there again, the height. If you look at the height of this branch, much higher than his head. His head height's there, head height's here, and his marking here. Can't smell anything. For our dull sense of smell, I mean, him rubbing on the tree means nothing. Would I be able to smell a scent left in that pug mark? Left by him? There's no ways. Literally, you cannot smell a thing. For lions, that is a chemical signature. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like spraying perfume somewhere. Show us that grimace. Hello, big boy. Head rubs. <laughs> uh, you can see he's becoming all... Oh, Kev, you're there. Where did you come from? So, that's what that's about. Yeah, he smells something here. Maybe... Oh, I was hoping for... He's got a, he's got a very potent scent. Maybe we're going to get that grimace. Can't see anything. He's smelt something. What a fantastic cat! <laughs> Bobcat never lets me down. That is the Fleming response, absolutely perfectly demonstrated by Bobcat the Great. I mean, that was an amazing, I couldn't have done it better myself. I couldn't have wished for it to play out better than that. There was absolutely nothing on the ground that I could see, but there was something that caught his nose. And he turned around, he followed his nose, and sniffed and sniffed and sniffed, and that's what he does. He goes, <laughs> And he's drawing in that scent, drawing in that scent, drawing in that scent, and then the grimace. I don't do it as well as Bobcat, sorry, but phenomenal boy, well done. There's Gabby. <laughs> Gabby. So Bobcat and Gabby are back in the enclosure, and that would then bring an end to the first installment in the series of Sense and Sensibilities from myself, broken nose and all. Until next time, hope you enjoyed that. Ciao!